5 video games that are banned from being played. 5. Wolfenstein 3D Castle Wolfenstein first came out in 1981, and since then it spawned a series of sequels. The basic idea behind the games is hero versus Nazis, and that, obviously, hasn't sat well with Germany, for the reason you might think. Germany outright bans most Nazi imagery, even when they're clearly the bad guys. That ban includes video games, as they fall into a toy category. But Wolfenstein's publisher was willing to jump through some major hoops to get Germany's booming game market on board with the old favorite. Wolfenstein was finally released in Germany in 2014, but only because Bethesda did some major alterations to the game for the German market. Nazis became the regime, symbols were changed, and they made damn sure to geolock the Nazi version of the game to keep it from making it to both Germany and Austria. That version of the game is still banned, and expected to be forever. 4. The Guy Game what would it take to get a game banned in the noteworthy free speech United States? It's only happened once. The gameplay was a bog-standard multiple-choice trivia competition, but the hook was that as you answered questions correctly, you were rewarded with FMV footage of young women taking their shirts off and letting their breasts bounce free. Unfortunately for Top Heavy, one of those parts of naked breasts belonged to a 17-year-old girl, and the company was now in violation of child pornography statutes. A lawsuit quickly followed, with a judge in Travis County, Texas, issuing a verdict for bidding additional copies to be sold. The game was quickly pulled from the market and forgotten. 3. Bully while it's certainly logical that governments would have problems with the anarchic GTA games or the over-the-top carnage of Manhunt, what could be so awful about Bully? The company's classic 2006 tale of an English schoolboy trying to navigate the social structures of boarding school. Ask the government of Rio Grande do Sul, the southernmost province of Brazil, which brought the hammer down on Bully shortly after the game was released. Their argument was that setting the game in a school would be potentially harmful to teenagers. A fine of 1,000 Brazilian reels per day can be levied on anybody selling or even owning the game. 2. 2. Command and Conquer Generals Banned in China for Destroying China Command and Conquer General did not do so well in China, for the same reason that kneecapping Lady Liberty would likely flop in the US. Not only does the game's China campaign open on the nuclear obliteration of Beijing, good start, but the player is directly involved in the destruction of Chinese landmarks like the Hong Kong Convention Center and the Three Gorges Dam. What, was the Great Wall too far away? Not only did the government of China promptly bring down the ban hammer, which they've done to games for less, but even Chinese gamers who went to the trouble of pirating the title weren't pleased with it, mostly because you have the option of bombing Tiananmen Square into rubble. Can you say cultural insensitivity? 1. Grand Theft Auto 4 Grand Theft Auto is the affluent suburban punk of the gaming world, stealing its mom's cigarettes and giving the middle finger to the police, but not actually doing anything dangerous. Still, that's not going to convince the judgmental among us that GTA isn't a bad influence. So, when a Thai teenager killed a taxi driver during a carjacking in 2008 and blamed it on Grand Theft Auto 4, nobody bought GTA's alibi that it was hanging with Bully all day. When cops picked him up, Chino blamed Grand Theft Auto for his violent actions, saying killing seemed easy in the game, and he needed the money to play it. Many Thai people do not own their own consoles or computers and instead play at internet cafes. The government responded by outlawing all the GTA games in one fell swoop. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed. Check out one of these videos and don't forget to subscribe to support more videos.